So, uh, in this part, we are going to discuss a, a bit about the theory behind this experiment. So, what we are doing, we are trying to determine the dispersive power of a grating using sodium lamp or sodium light. So, sodium light, this is a monochromatic light. It has a wavelength, particular one single wavelength and that wavelength is 5893 angstrom. So that's the wavelength of the sodium light that we are using. Then as I showed in the last video, the experimental setup is such that there is a lamp here. So the lamp produces light, then there is a collimeter. So the light becomes parallel, then you have a grating here. So the grating is transparent, not transparent, transparent, not transparent and so forth. So these are the transparent parts and these are not transparent parts. What this grating does is it diffracts light. in different directions. Okay. So we have our telescope here and then we look at the telescope and we try to find out where are these the rays that getting diffracted from the grating. So that's grating. This is your telescope. This is collimator. That's sodium lamp. Right? So you can see that if this is your zero then you have one light which is coming at an angle let's say this is theta 1 another light which is coming at an angle theta 2 similarly it is going to be again theta 1 and theta 2 they are symmetric right so given the light which is coming, let's say we give it a name, that's order number 0. So that's the central line that you see. Then this would be is equal to n is equal to, let's say this is 1, n is equal to 2, then this would be n is equal to minus 1, this is n is equal to minus 2 and so forth. Now how much these lights get diffracted depends on the wavelength also depends on how many such lines are there or how much is the separation between two consecutive lines in the diffraction. Right? So that equation or this relationship is called grating equation and that equation is A plus B sine theta is equal to n lambda where lambda is the wavelength, n is the order, these, these are this n, theta is these angles, for a given n you will have one particular theta, what is a plus b? a plus b is this, let's say you have a grating, so this is the glass plate and so forth, so these are the scratch marks that I earlier mentioned. So this distance is let's say A and this distance is B, right? So A plus B is this much. So if you have one scratch mark, the next scratch mark will start at a distance A plus B. And this A plus B is called grating element.
right? And that's the property or the parameter of this grating. A grating is characterized by this number, A plus B, how much is this? We will find out how much is this in our case, okay? So once we have the grating equation, then next what we can do is take a derivative of this. What you get is A plus B, the derivative of this grating equation, you get sin theta and lambda. So that's our grating equation. We need to take the derivative of this A plus B cos theta d theta and d lambda. Then from here, d theta by d lambda is equal to n divided by a plus b cos theta and this quantity is called the dispersive power this is called the dispersive power and we are going to calculate this quantity in this experiment right so now you see to calculate dispersive power d theta by d lambda, as I explained earlier, what this ratio means? It's like if you have a source for which the, let's say there are two wavelengths and the difference between these two wavelengths is d lambda, then for that difference between the wavelength, how much would be their angle difference right so these are so in this case this is a diagram for one single wavelength if there are two different wavelengths then this line or the, the image that you see here would become two one single image is for one particular lambda another image for the another lambda so then this difference is your t theta and the two different wavelength that's d lambda right and that how much would be the difference in their angle means how much separated they would be is determined by which order you are looking at how much is the grating element of the grating and at what angle you are looking at right so we will calculate this one uh, so this part is all about your theory Next, we will look at how to take the data. Thank you.